Hey everybody out there in the YouTube world, it's your boy Dutch the Diesel Technician Man back with another fun filled informative tool video. Today I'm going to be talking about my gear wrenches, man. I had them for about two years now, and I must admit they rock solid. And when I say rock solid, I mean that I ain't had one problem with them yet. And I'm talking about the rotor heads. This version of them. This, for all that don't know, this rotor head model is a snap-on pattern. Snap-on pattern, this head. But since then, I guess they either lost the pattern or whatever happened because a lot of other companies make rotor heads now. And this is the same exact quarter-inch rotor head ratchet that snap-on makes. The gear wrench one. This one is made in Taiwan. That one's probably made in USA, but I'm telling you, it's the same exact blueprint. My coworker has the same exact one. We had them side by side. We measured the length, the width of the head, the clearance. Everything is the same. Even the, the switch mechanism, the way that on and off is written, the way that it's designed, everything is the same. But it's only a fraction of the price. The weight of it is the same. But this thing works excellent, man. And I'm going to tell you something. The Gear Rich version of this and the Snap-on version of this both have 72 teeth in a quarter-inch version. Okay? So there's, there's no difference. You got the same swing up. You have the same. only thing that's different is the grip. And that's because this is... A gear wrench grip, and of course you'll have the snap-on grip on that one, but the tool is the same. You got 72 teeth in both ratchets. So the swing out will be the same. But this one is a fraction of the price, and I've had this for two years, and it works great. Um, the only difference is, when you step it up a notch, and you go ahead and get the 3 8 version of this, this is where they differ at, and I'm going to tell you, right? This is my oil filter wrench. I'm going to tell you where they differ. The snap on the 3 8 version of this has a 100 tooth count. This one still has a 72 tooth count in the 3 8. So the quarter inch version of it and the 3 8 version of it, these both have 72 teeth in them. The only difference is the snap on one has a 100 tooth count. Now, if this were a quarter inch I would say yeah you would need that 100 tooth count that 100 tooth count you can get by without it but the 100 tooth count would do you some justice on the quarter inch ratchet why because in a with, a with a small ratchet like this is used to get down on small fasteners and tight spaces so you want that swing arc to be real low so you don't have to turn it real long for it to engage before it engages to the next tooth and when you can make that fast and spin okay so the more teeth you got the quicker your ratchet will engage you need that in tight situations however on the 3 8 model you don't necessarily need a hundred teeth on a 3 8 ratchet technically 72 teeth is quite a bit teeth on a ratchet a 3 8 ratchet because this is going to be going after mostly 14 up to maybe 19 millimeter fasteners or bolts. So, not times like this is that's enough teeth for this. You don't need a whole lot of teeth on a bigger ratchet. It comes the teeth matter when you're in the tighter, smaller situations. Okay. So the snap on one, the only thing that it differs in is that it has 100 teeth in the head. This one has 72. But this thing I had it two years, heavy service. You can see the handle. It gets much use. And I got a bunch of um, 3 8 ratchets that from from Matco. I even got a snap on. I, for, uh, um, I don't have a Mac, but Craftman, Husky, all. I got a bunch of, um, I got so many 3 8 ratchets. That's the one I have the most of. And I'm telling you, this is one of the better ones I had. It's between this one and the, um, the Matco one that I had that I like the best. And the snap on one is good as well. I don't use it that much though. I just like this ratchet. But so if 
you want to be for real about this, but you don't want to spend a lot of money on your tools, don't go buy the cheaper version of everything. But this is one thing that they didn't mess up. And I'm telling you, stuff that come out of Taiwan is usually good. This is not China. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that come out of Taiwan is usually good, and this is one of them. This gear wrench is by far probably the best gear wrench they ever made. Because it has that snap on quality. Fine tooth count. Even with, with, at 72 teeth, fine tooth count. And this one right here, the mechanism seems even finer. So, the gear wrench, roll the head. A good, a good choice if you don't want to spend snap on money. I'm Dusty D, the technician. Y'all know my slow. Subscribe, keep me alive. Thanks for watching.